MQTT. What you're watching here is hours, or the result of hours of frustrating work. MQQT. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I've captured here. An example of voice recognition on a Samsung S6 being interpreted, converted to text and transmitted via MQTT over Wi-Fi to node red running on a Raspberry Pi. Or a sad old man quietly dissolving after 15 hours of frustration trying to resurrect a system that worked first time when it was installed but then would not function on the following day. I'm not entirely sure what it was that failed, whether it was adding the screen grabbing app to make this video or some other parameter. These results are so impressive though, that I feel we need to continue. If you spot what must be the glaringly obvious omission, then please do comment below to guarantee that this installation works first time out of the box as it did for me, but then continues to work. We needed voice recognition as this is all the rage at the moment and an excellent front end to any IoT activity. To do this on an Android device, we need three key apps, Tasker, Auto Voice and MQTT. If you've not come across Tasker before and you really like to control your phone, really control your phone without rootkitting it, then Tasker is your solution. Never can the 259 it cost ever be better spent. Install it. Search also for Auto Voice. There is a free version and a premium paid for app. The final package that is free is the MQTT server. There are several of these. Be sure that you use this option if you want to follow this video. This completes all the installation necessary. Let's work through how these all interact. Start by going to the settings and selecting accessibility, scroll to the base of the screen and turn on both the Tasker and Auto Voice Google DAO integration. Tap on the Auto Voice. I have version 306BF currently installed. Click on the Google Now option and complete the authorities necessary to turn this section from red to green as shown. Nothing else needs to be changed at this stage. Now to the center that is Tasker. I cannot speak too highly of this app. This is not a how-to on Tasker. There are many, many of those already. Many, many of those because of the whole array of things that can be usefully achieved. In Tasker, as the name suggests, you can assign tasks for the phone to do. These are event-driven and couple all of the apps and all of the features of a mobile phone to perform, well, tasks. These can range from starting your music app each time the headphones are inserted to uploading a photo and GPS details if the incorrect security number is entered over three times. The combinations are almost limitless. Here, we are going to add a profile into Tasker to listen for a keyword, interpret and transmit a text version via MQTT. Tasker is not immediately intuitive, but well worth time investigating. Here are my step-by-step -step instructions. Clicking on Tasker reveals this screen headed Profiles, Tasks and Scenes. You can swipe horizontally between each three, but first we have to start a profile. A profile is your title for any number of group tasks. If the Profiles column is empty, then you are invited to press the plus symbol at the base of the screen to start a new one. So, tap it to see this first context screen, to see this list of starting points that are going to initiate our process. So click it, event category, and then the plugin icon to reveal auto voice. Click on auto voice to reveal or not reveal the recognized option. This option needs to be dragged up from the bottom of the list. So long is the list of available options. Tap this to reveal the event edit auto voice recognize configuration screen. Tap on the pen icon to reveal this screen. Two headings, the easy way and the hard way, man or mouse. Click hard way to reveal this screen. This is where we program the phone to recognize the word used to announce our verbal command sequence. There can be many of these, but here we're only going to use one. Click speak filter. And follow the screen instructions as the system records your voice. Once done, it displays one or more text options that may be selected. That is it. Click the tick to return to the configuration screen with all of the details included. Click this exit from profile and the recognition section is now over. The screen should now request an enter task to be associated with the profile. Enter any name of your choice. 
and click the tick to reveal the new task edit screen. The loop should now start to become familiar, as this time you're requested to press the plus icon at the base of the screen to enter a new task. That is, the task or tasks that should be performed when your command word has been received. Press the plus to be presented with all of these action category options and press plugin again. This time, MQTT Publisher is the option to select. That produces this screen, and blow me if there isn't another pen icon that links to the configuration details for the MQTT Publisher. Enter just the IP address of the machine running your Node-RED service, and the port is 1883. Enter the username and password and topic. Just the topic, no leading slashes required. I used voice. Remember, this is case sensitive. The final entry is the payload. That has to be percent AV, com, no filter, or one word. Click in the QoS1 option at the base of the screen and accept. No other changes are required, so click back again. Now, here is a valuable additional step from Peter Scargill from his excellent blog referenced below. Add another task. Click the press button and click on alert and beep. Accept all of the defaults and just press the action edit button at the top of the screen. I found this essential for testing and adds a beep if the command has been accepted, recognized and the MQTT action taken. The beep in this task proves that Tasker has intervened, applied auto voice and applied the MQTT plugin. If you do not hear the beep, then Google will respond with its normal action. So move back and close all apps. I set up this voice search for testing. Now, head for your Node-RED interface. The easiest way is to start your Raspberry Pi in graphics mode. Click on the Node-RED option. Little really appears to happen, but don't worry. The screen does contain details of what is happening in the background. What has happened is that Node-RED is running in the background. Start a browser and point it at the IP of your Pi with a colon at the end of the address separating the port 1880. This screen should appear. Now drag out a timestamp node a debug node and two different MQTT nodes. Connect them up as shown and click on this MQTT client to enter the same details as entered on the phone. The IP address, topic, and here I enter voice, and QoS of one. Click done. On the right, select debug. And here, select the full message. Done. Press deploy. Click on the voice icon and wait to enter your command and then the message to be passed. The word should now appear on the node red after the beep has been received, which is where we came in. With the text received by node red, we can now start the next stage, interpreting the message. But that is part of a following video.